All right, hey everybody, my name is Jake. Today I'm gonna to be making a standing rolling command center. So I have been working from home uh, for the past, oh, like what, eight months now? At uh, this desk right here, this is my setup. So this is my current work setup. It's not too bad, I have the laptop elevated so that I don't strain my neck and everything, um, but I do kind of miss my standing desk that I had at my actual office. So that's my current desk setup. Uh, I don't like it very much. So I've recently reorganized my entire shop. It really opened up the space, uh, kind of made dedicated stations for the different kind of stuff that I do uh, based on the material, the tools required. So I really like it for that reason. Uh, just give you a quick kind of pan around. We got my gym back over here. We've got some storage and then the 3D printing setup tool chest. Uh, we've got the woodworking bench and then my office desk. And then here's kind of what I'm calling my tool desk. Uh, it's got some parts down here and tools. But I do find myself running back and forth to this desk, uh, to my laptop to look up something related to the project or to get filming equipment from the little shelf back there. That's sort of like the hub of this whole operation. And I'm just not quite fully satisfied with this desk setup. I do wish that it could move around a little bit easier. I wish it was a variable sitting standing desk. That's why I'm gonna be making a, what I'm calling a rolling command center. So that's the project for today. Let's go ahead and get this started. So basically how this is gonna work is, we have our two two by twos. Those are gonna be the uh, columns as well as the legs. We have our 2x12, just a little bit of this is needed. Uh, we're going to be making our base out of that. We have this 2x6 here. This is going to be a brace piece between the columns. This piece of shelving, uh, this is going to be the actual desk portion with the with these shelf brackets mounted to it so that it can mount onto the rails on the columns. So we have these casters. Two of them have brakes so that we can make it hold still. We have some 3-inch angle brackets here. These are going to help stabilize and support the center columns and then we have our old TV mount of mine. I'm going to mount a monitor, a small TV to that. Uh, that's going to be up at the very top of the build. And then we have our power outlet. Between that and just some screws and stuff, that's all you're really going to need. Let's get started and I'm going to start making some cuts and here we go. All right, that's it for the cutting. Now to get to assembly. I put the angle brackets in at this point. Uh, I just kind of used these short two by two pieces to get the dimensions right, the sizing right, uh, so that I could put these in place and have them ready to go when I put the big columns in. All right, it's got wheels. So I'm gonna use these long screws, run them through the bracket, through the two by two, into this support board here. And that way it's all gonna be one cohesive unit. Uh, then I'm gonna cut some gussets and put some gussets along uh, on the base and uh, the support board here so that any uh, sway front and back will be taken care of. So, okay. So that's stiffened it up quite a bit. I am actually gonna run a couple of screws 
up underneath the base through this board as well, just to be extra sure before I put the gussets in that it's gonna stay. Okay, I got these two gussets cut. Uh, I just cut them out of that two by six, and I'm gonna put them down now on that baseboard here. So that one will go right there. This one will go on the back end, just like that. So we're gonna screw those in uh, from the base and into the board, and that's gonna fix any sort of wobbling that's gonna happen up top. So that's a very sturdy base. I can stand right up on this thing, put all my weight on it, bounce a bit, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, yeah, real nice and sturdy. I'm gonna get some cross braces put in here, and then I'm gonna start putting the shelf rails on. So this <laughs> overkill is underrated, folks. Stand's done. I'm gonna change batteries and put on these shelf rails and then we're really close to done. We're literally just gonna grab our screws, drive them in, make sure it's centered. All right. So we have our rails on, so yeah, let's make a desk. So this is the desk platform, or it's just, just a shelf, it's just a particle board shelf uh, that was like super cheap, it was $2 I think. Um, four feet wide, so I'm gonna cut it in half, so I have a two, two foot platforms, and that's gonna be what sits on the rack over there. And decide position it where I want it, and then mark the holes. So I'm gonna have to do that, and drill the holes, mount the brackets with some screws. You want a bit of a gap uh, between, you know, like that, maybe half an inch or so, just so that you have enough room to lift the platform up and out. Uh, if you had it all the way up front, it wouldn't budge. So I do have these smaller brackets, so I'm gonna cut up that last piece of desktop into a smaller platform. All right, got the shelves done. So I'm gonna put this one go right there. So yeah, so the nice thing about that is I can move these uh, wherever I want vertically. The last part of this is going to be the monitor. I'm gonna have this kind of larger board here that's gonna hold this mounting bracket. Now here's the thing about this. These usually mount horizontally, but what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to mount it sideways. Just use a couple of lag screws that came with the mount to stick it onto that board. So you can kind of see the point. So in the low position, this is gonna be you know, me sitting and looking at my monitor and all that, and then when I wanna stand, you can just pick up the monitor, put it in that position. Oh, last thing, I just have a power strip that's gonna sit on the back. All right, so here is the finished structure. The shelves are really sturdy. I have sort of a lower laptop shelf and then kind of the main desk standing area. I have some more shelving down here. And I've got my power outlet all set up. That's gonna hook into this extension cord, which climbs all the way up this pole and into this outlet back here. With the length of cable that I have, I can go anywhere around this shop. So because this mount isn't meant to be mounted this way, it's not meant to hold any weight in this position. So as soon as you put any weight on this, it's just gonna fall right back down. So I need to have some sort of a latching mechanism coming up from the back. It's gonna hold this brace and kind of stop it from falling. That's the idea. So to do that, I'm gonna take one of these sort of a product hanger, you would see it like a supermarket hanging on one of those racks. It latches into this brace just like that, bend it down this way, and then hold this piece, which will now be pointing down with this little uh, bracket here, just like that. So you can see now that you know, no matter how hard I pull on it, that's not gonna come out. And then when I'm ready to bring it to a lower standing position, 
lift up, twist it away, and then it can move. Just like that. So for the monitor, I chose a 22 inch flat screen, uh, just a TV, because it's cheaper than an actually a 22 inch HD monitor. And it has two HDMI ports, so I can use one for my laptop, and I can use one for this camera to monitor the camera. You know these little feet that you get with a TV that you're probably never going to use if you mount it on a wall? You can use these as cord wrappers. They're very nice for that. slack in the monitor so it has room to move so that's not going to get wrapped up. Okay, that's plugged in. Time to get everything set up. The last bit of this rig is going to be turning it into something that I can use to make YouTube videos. So I don't like having a strike down and like get all the camera equipment put away. I want to be able to have the camera ready in just one spot, which would be great on a mobile command center. So I have this, and this is a adjustable arm. It has a quarter 20 thread on top, so that's perfect for this camera and for both cameras. And it has this really great just clamp attachment. And I'm just going to clamp this somewhere on the command center. Uh, for now, I'll just do it here. And I can put it wherever I want on the cross member, or I can hang it upside down here. I can put it way up top. Uh, that would allow me to get the shots I needed to from different angles. Put it here like that, tighten it down. And then uh, here. So I'm gonna put you on this arm here, ready? Here we go, like that. And I could bring this arm down. There we go. I have it on a little ball head right now. But this is you on the command center. Here. See? How about that? That's how it looks on there. Little Canon M50. The other thing I want to do is make this screen into a monitor. So I have this HDMI cable that plugs into the camera. So I'm going to turn that into a monitor like that. And look, just like that. I changed the input on the TV and now it's a full monitor. So I can get my framing right, I can get my shot right. If I just take you with me, roll on the rack around now. Like that, turn. So there, I can film the gym setup. I can get really close in to the 3D printer. And this beats the heck out of this desk I have. Now I can stand, I can sit, I can work on projects, I can film, I can move to the different stations around the workshop. This is great. And even if you're not filming, even if you don't have a workshop with stations, you're going to move around to this rolling command center is still extremely useful because you can adjust it in height. You can sit, you can stand. If you're working from home, if you have a home office, if you have just a small space that you want to fit into, this thing has a very small profile. Well, I had most of the parts already, so I think I spent a total of maybe 50 bucks on this project. And all in if you don't have the shelf brackets, if you don't have the wood, if you don't have the casters, uh, you're gonna be spending probably 100 bucks, depending on the prices at your hardware store. It's a very cost-effective solution when you DIY something, it's gonna be completely custom to your needs. And that's exactly what this is for me. So, if you're interested in this project, Give this video a like. I'll have a full write-up on Instructables for you if you want to make one yourself. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.